What is going on? So you have the uh, Eight of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the um, Six of Cups, the Devil, the Strength, <coughs> the Hanged Man, the Six of Wands, Three of Cups, <coughs> Nine of Cups. That shows and proves that I actually do shuffle up the cards and well. The cards come out how they come out. So for you Capricorns, the devil represent Capricorn. So you showed up in your own reading. But let's put it into the context of what the reading actually is about. Love you. That's my dog. The uh, Eight of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. So the Eight of Swords represents the... Um, petrified mentality that some people have where they find it very difficult I, again the more real you become is the more you're going to realize just how full of it a lot of people tend to be so the eight of swords represent people can come up with all types of excuses when it comes to getting to know you capricorns all types of gobbledygook all types of stuff <laughs> but are they actually willing to step up and really date you a lot of them no the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles represent. So this puts you in a position where a lot of you Capricorns realize that getting to know other people is going to be a little bit more difficult than what it is that you originally thought because you find out just how much people are really not built for love. They're very much so afraid of it. You know, some things happen to them. Could be one time, could be how many times to their credit. And for some odd reason, they flip and they never seem to actually be able to let go of that particular situation ever. So what they do is, is that they live on that one situation and they constantly remind themselves that all the time, which is dysfunctional. But at the same time, this is how it is. That a lot of them think. So a lot of you, uh, a lot of you Capricorns under should understand that it's the four of pentacles it's not you it's not it's not your value it's not their disliking of you because the truth is a lot of these people really like you in the first place they like you problem is they're too dysfunctional to actually understand what what that they don't have to use this flashback to define the real sit down come in Come here, yo. They don't have to use this flashback to define the relationship. Come here. Come here. Come here. So because of the fact that they don't have to they don't have to to do that now, are with the Ten of Pentacles, would they be able to actually function like that? The answer is no, right? No, they're, they're not really able to do that. So a lot of you Capricorns have to take your attention where you have had uh, taken your attention elsewhere. The Six of Cups and the Devil is about how someone from the past can't seem to let you Capricorns go because they like you so much. They think of the world of you. Yeah, they like you uh, a lot. They want to get to know you. And even though the, the devil represents ca you Capricorns and I'm doing a reading, they, they're they really on, it's two things. Number one, they're scapegoating you. So <laughs> they're scapegoating you because it's, it's a sense of they have to blame you for their problems because of how dysfunctional they are. So they're really more so worried about um, all of the wrong things. They're, they're not, they're, you know, they, again, all it is that they know is that they like you, but they're not really trying to work a relationship, a solid relationship out, make it functional. They're more so interested in, they like you. They don't, they don't, they don't expect it to go anywhere. They don't really want it to go anywhere, but they like you, which makes no sense because now it's like, okay, but like is not enough. You have to actually put in an action. You have to tell the person that you have to put in action. They have to do something. They're not really willing to make the relationship functional. They're more so about just liking you. So because they like you, you know, you're you're part of their property. You can't go anywhere. 
all this other stuff. And so now the strength is about how, so you, this, this is the ego. The ego is just dripping out of them. You know, the idea that because of the fact that you Capricorns may have gotten to know these people, they now have this ideology that somehow they own you. Somehow they, you know, somehow, some one way or the other, they, they seem to have this, this problem where they can't seem to let go of this, this idea that they don't own you, that you Capricorns are your own individuals, you're doing your own thing. For some, so for some odd reason, they, they have a problem with that. They don't seem to understand that, you know? Um, and as a result, um, as a result, a lot of you uh, Capricorns see them, right, as being smothering because the, the hanged man, here they are again, uh, scapegoating you, just like I said, scapegoating the world out of you because it's a situation where um, they're scapegoating you uh, due to the fact that they don't want to see their own their own faults, their own problems within themselves, that they're holding on to this flashback of an idea every time they interact with other people. And they and they're 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 terrible because they're making they're making life worse on themselves, trying to protect themselves. So the six of wands, because they think that that's what they're doing, but they're really tearing their own selves down. But the the a six of wands represents, but you Capricorns can see that, but they can't see that in themselves. So the six of wands is about how you understand, you realize for, even before they tried to come back, you got to get away from this. So the six of wands is about you walking away again, them trying to reach out six of cups. Hey, what's up Capricorn? How you doing? And you Capricorns are like, nah, I'm still not talking to you. No. Three of cups, Three of Cups, Nine of Cups. Nah, Three of Cups, the Nine of Cups represents, and also since this is the case, the, the, the Three of Cups is about, um, so going into, going into, going where it is that you're appreciated. So very much so dating other people, not worry, not wondering about them, not trying to date these people at all at all the nine of uh the nine of cups very much so uh you know being comfortable where it is a lot of you capricorns are because a lot of you capricorns finally caught on and you finally understand and you finally decided to take action you capricorns are dating people in general you're dating to see who's a good fit for you and who's not also you capricorns are getting to know um if certain people obviously with time are good for you and if they're not and if they're not you're moving forward and continuing to get to know other people this idea that you capricorns will be slipping back into the way that you were where you have devil-like relationships you and the other person can't seem to let each other go you capricorns <clears throat> are trying to do the right thing but then people um try to constantly scapegoat you right which is where the concept of scapegoating comes from is from capricorn right the goat um that ideology is finished you capricorns are not holding on to that a person has to tell you they like you they have to show you that they like you, you have to do both if they can't seem to do both capricorns are out because we are because we're grown folks this idea of grown people acting like little people if you know what I mean, acting like little ones, acting like they 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 don't know that elbow from a hole in the ground. That all of that, all of that grown people who are just dizzy all day, running around. What's going on? I I don't, I don't know. That ideology is finished. That's that's done. That's done. All of that. That's done. So let's clarify the um, nine of cups. Let's clarify the nine of cups. So. We have the lovers, right? Ace of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, the Magician, right? The lovers and the Ace of Wands is you Capricorns knowing what it is that you want. You're willing to, to, to be in a relationship, Ace of Wands, but it has to be right. 
It has to be something that's worth fighting for, fighting to keep. It has to be something that's worth, you know, the trouble is what it is that I'm trying to say. If it's not, a lot of you Capricorns don't see the value in it. And then you have the Queen of Pentacles and the Magician. <coughs> The Queen of Pentacles and the Magician is about also, since this is the case, with that, a lot of you Capricorns, you know, people think that they can just tell you anything without showing it to you or scapegoating you. The Magician, you're able to see through people's uh, tricks and the illusions that they plan now. 